Good morning, Bishop Carroll. I'm Joseph Rodriguez. And I'm Miela Ayers. And we're here to get you caught up on everything to expect this year for our second annual Golden Games on April 19th. For those of you who were here last year, it will look pretty similar, although a couple of the games have changed. And for you freshmen, get ready to see what Golden Games is all about. We asked the broadcasting team to come up with videos of each game to show you all how they will work. After you watch all of those, Joseph and I will be back to run down the schedule of the day. Enjoy. JP2 in Calcutta will be hosting a free throw contest. The rules of the game are simple. Each house will get a shoot, 50 free throws. All house students will form a long line behind the free throw line, and each student will rotate through and shoot free throws in the order that they are lined up. As each student shoots a free throw, they will then go to the end of the line. A total of 50 shots will be taken. Each made free throw will be recorded to get a final house total. Second free throw, my goodness. Three seconds, no timeouts. Harper for the win. This game is called Nerf Gun Sharpshooter. It's located in the cave and commons. To set it up, you take eight six-foot tables, lines for shooting taped off eight feet away from the table, and plastic cups, 15 on each table, 50 darts per house, and two Nerf guns per table. The directions are each house will line up single file in front of one table. House members are given one dart to use to shoot at a cup of their choice. Students re remain in the same order in line for the duration of game while shooting darts. Students will cycle through in order until all 50 darts are used. Students may not shoot twice in a row if there are remaining darts. The line starts over from the first person. Students have a limit of 10 seconds to shoot their dart. If you shoot a person, the house receives zero points and ends their turn. If you shoot at another table and knock a cup to the floor, you do not get the point. One point for each cup that falls off the table. One representative from each house will shoot at one cup until one team knocks it over. If all cups fall to the floor, the table re will re be reloaded with another 15 cups. What's up, Bishop Carroll? Welcome to our water balloon launch. This game is hosted by St. Teresa of Lisieux and St. Dominic Savio. This game is all about how far you can launch your water balloons. The rules for this game are simple. Each house has five minutes to launch five balloons as far as you can. Only the furthest one will count. The only rule is that each member of your house can only help launch one balloon. So that means each house will have to have five teams of three, two to hold the launcher, and one to launch the balloon. Once the round is over, the community with the longest balloon launch will win one point for their community. But wait, there's more. This year, each house will have one golden balloon. There will be a target 30 yards from the launch point, and if you hit anywhere on the target with your golden balloon, then you will get to move your community for this launch an extra 10 yards. So start working on that aim, as it can really benefit your community. Are you sure about that? We hope you have a good time as you come to our station. <laughs> All members of the community will participate. Each house member will have a designated pitcher, and each house member will have an opportunity to hit. The pitcher will pitch to each member. Each person will get one hit. A battle will attempt to hit their ball into the outfield. Foul balls are counted as a hit. Houses that are not batting will shag balls in the outfield. A batter may swing and miss three times. At the end of the event, the percentage of home runs will be tabulated. The communities will be assigned points based off the ranking of their percentage. <laughs> Those new games look fun. Yeah, and the additions to the others gives them something to look forward to. 
Now that you got a handle on all the games, it's time we run down the schedule for the day. When the bell rings to begin the school day, you'll be in house, and then you should take a quick attendance and head to the AC. Once we are in the AC, we will start the day praying a chaplet, then head out to the football field. All communities will sit on the home side bleachers for the national anthem, followed by some relays and a special surprise. Oh, we forgot to mention that right after the national anthem, the art battle will begin. When we have finished the relays, your house will then follow the rotation that your mentor has to play each of the Golden Games. And after you've completed every game, you will head back to the stadium for our final relay of the day. This will be followed by a brief award ceremony to crown the new community champion. After that, you are done for the day. Now, a lot of people have worked hard to make this day even better than last year, and we really hope that you will enjoy every minute of it. This is a great day to bond with others and show some awesome community spirit. That's all we have for you. See you at the games.